Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use my new plugin that I created on Roblox. It's going to make your leaderboard um, scripting a whole lot easier, um, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, we can go ahead and uh, hop right in. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link down in the description below. Um, it's going to bring this page. The logo might be different after the posting of this video, and sorry for all my Discord notifications. Um, but basically, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and install that. And then, um, just go ahead, you can always do always, um, or at least allow. And then, um, it, it should automatically open up Roblox Studio. And then, um, it'll say leaderboard creator, um, su successfully installed. And then just click OK, and then go ahead and go to um, the game of your choice. Um, this will, um, this is gonna install the leaderboards for it as soon as we use this plugin. So then, um, after you're here, because you installed it, you wanna go plugins, and then sometimes um, it might just pop up. So yours might be in a different spot, just depending. But you can see that down here it's gonna say leaderboard, and then there's gonna be a button here that says create leader stats. Um, and basically, if it's uh, not, if you do not see that here, go to manage plugins, and then look for leaderboard creator, and it's going to be by the official DJ Skyward fan group, link in the description for the group, um, and then make sure that this is switched on. Um, if it is, go ahead and go ahead and search around YouTube, I don't know why it would keep doing that, but anyway. So it's actually pretty straightforward, you just click this button, and then in service script service, we're going to create your leaderboard script automatically. Now, what this does um, for the leaderboard script is it automatically creates a data store, so all their um, the cache and everything will save. And um, it also this is for whenever they're removing, it automatically um, saves it. So anyway, um, so here it says when they join, um, it creates the leader sets folder, and then. It creates the cache, um, which is a num which is going to be a number value, and it's going to get the async of the of the um, the cache uh, value from the data store, and then it's also going to create your levels. Um, it's also going to be a number value, and then it's also going to get the data for this. And the reason why it says player user ID is so it will save to their user ID and not their name in case. They change their name, all their stuff isn't going to be completely, like, done. Unless they create a new account, then of course. Um, anyway. So, yeah, this is basically a script. Now say, um, hey, what if I don't want the levels? Then you can just go ahead and, um, clear that out. And you'll, you will also need to clear this line out. And then, um, I'm just going to undo this. Alright. But, what if I don't want the catch? Well, I mean, cache, not catch. Um, just you want to go ahead and clear that line out. And then you want to clear this line out, or it says underscore cache. Um, yeah. And then, basically, um, that's really about it. Now, if you want to change, like, the cache to coins, um, the, um, the cache.name is going to be equal to this. So, if you want to change it to coins, you can just make that coins. You can name it whatever you'd like, and then um, if you want to name your level something different, um, then you can also go ahead and uh, remove them, but you can still just remove the levels. Um, so yeah, now next is this, is um, this. You want to make this kind of like a password, just not like, yeah, like a password, because you do not want other people to know this, especially if they know how to script on Roblox. Because here's the thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new script. Um so uh game dot Do I have this? No. Okay, so basically uh, right. So basically once you create once you get um like they make a variable for the data store service the thing is, is that it says, um, where is it, where is it, I can't find it, get data store. So basically, the get data store is, um, I didn't mean to click that, um, but basically, the get data store 
is it gets the death store from the player because when they leave, you have um, the get data store. Like, you can't just add a data store. Like, it's always gets. And then if it's not in the player, like, data store, um, like, data, I guess you could say, um, if it's not there, then that means that it's just going to create a new one automatically. So what's going to happen is when it – say someone finds out your data store name, um, which is like what I said, like, hey, you need to change this to. If they find that out, then they can figure out your – then they can get your data store in their game, and then um, this will only work in your game – um, or at least games that you have uh, helped edit in Roblox Studio. But basically, if they click F9, or if they do slash console and chat um, also, then this can open up. And then if they go to server, um, like on their game, like on their Roblox game that they made, and then they already have the data store name in there, um, and they have like a value for the cache already, um, Oh, I don't... That's weird. <laughs> anyway. Um, but basically, they can literally set the data store um, value to whatever they want. Um, so also, if they figure out um, this, their keys, then that'll also... Um, yeah, but really, you just want to worry about the get data store. But anyway... Um, so, if they get the data store, then they have access to your data store, and they can do anything to anyone's coins and levels in their game, but it's not hacking. Like, te like it kind of is, but Roblox can still allow it because you're the person that chose to do a poor data store name. So, you want to go ahead and act like this is a password. Um, it can have spaces, so uh, be note of that. Um, yeah. So, basically, that's really it for the leaderboard. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, video today. Please leave a like and subscribe down below. My Roblox group and my Discord will be in the description below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. The plugin, the link, um, in order to get the plugin, don't worry, it's free. Um, the link in order to get the plugin is down below as well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.